It's Thursday, July 21st, and here's your daily video buzz on such a fine day from the beach. What a day. It was like winning the lottery. Okay, it wasn't that big, but nowadays any crumbs that fall off the table are a banquet. First, I got a letter with a 10% old age security pension raise from the federal government. Then on the same day, 110 bucks from John Horgan as a rebate for high gas prices. With a little imagination, that mac and cheese dinner turned into fine dining. Nanaimo is on track for a banner year in housing starts. Building permit values hit $319 million for the first half of this year and could surpass the 2019 record of $445 million by the end of the year. The majority of permits are for residential buildings with multifamily units outstripping single-family home construction. If you have a boat and would like some adventure on Sunday, the Loyal Nanaimo Bathtub Society is looking for escort boats for Sunday's big race. Each tub must have a boat close at hand for safety. The three-day Nanaimo Marine Festival starts on Friday at Mafio Sutton Park, while the race itself is at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. The BC government is expanding its speculation tax reach. Four Vancouver Island municipalities, North Cowichan, Duncan, Lady Smith, and Lake Cowichan will now be subject to the tax. The tattered BC healthcare system may have cost a life. An Ashcroft senior died on Sunday after going into cardiac arrest while the only ambulance was out of town and the hospital's emergency department was closed. Did you just butt dial 911? One in five calls to BC's 911 dispatchers are believed to be accidental, putting further strain on the overburdened system. It's believed many of those calls are from cell phones kept in back pockets, thus butt dialed. Fewer British Columbians would support the return to mask mandates now than they did a year and a half ago. With COVID-19 cases going up again, a poll by the Angus Reid Institute shows 55% of people in the province support requiring masks in public, indoor spaces. That's a huge drop from November 2020 when 86% supported the mandate. And British Columbians are also most likely to support a return to vaccine passports with 30% in favor. And finally, remember it's Thursday, and that means it's the downtown street market. 